kids! Today we're going to learn all about your brain. Let's see. Have you ever wondered how do you feel joy, <laughs> sadness, anger, or how can you remember everything you learn at school? Or where do dreams come from? Well, your brain is in charge of these things and a lot more. The brain is inside our head, is an organ that lives inside the skull, which functions as a safety helmet. It is about the same size as both of your fists put together, and weights about 2.8 pounds. It is covered in wrinkles and protected by fluid inside the skull. Its texture is a little bit jelly-like. You might not think about your brain very often, but when you do think about it, it's pretty amazing. The human brain is in charge of everything that your body does. Even the things that you don't think about, like breathing or keeping your heart pumping. In fact, your brain is the boss of your body. It's like an extremely powerful computer, storing our memories and controlling our thoughts and body. So, how many brains do you have? One or two? Actually, this is pretty easy to answer. You only have one brain. However, our brain is divided into two halves called hemispheres, where each performs different functions, although they work together. For example, the left side is related to very important tasks as math, logical skills, reasoning, speaking, reading, and writing. Instead, the right hemisphere is dominant for creative activities such as music, art, imagination, and emotions. The brain is a signal box that receives information from the rest of your body. When a message comes into the brain from anywhere in the body, the brain tells the body how to react. For example, if you touch a hot stove, the nerves in your skin shoot a message of pain to your brain. The brain then sends a message back telling the muscles in your hand to pull away. This is why the five senses are so important. Do you know them? Let's see. Let's play a bit. This sense is in our nose. Is the special sense through which smells are perceived, sometimes pleasant and sometimes stinky. What will it be? Yes, the sense of smell. The following sense allows us to read and see everything that surrounds us. Shapes, colors, size. What could it be? The sense of sight. This sense allows us to feel and perceive if something is soft, rough, or hard. Do you know? Yes, the sense of touch. Through this sense, we can perceive sounds, such as music, the sound of the rain, the noise of cars, birds singing. Do you know? Yes. It's the sense of hearing. And the last sense allows us to distinguish if a flavor is sweet, sour, bitter, spicy, and also if we like the food or not. It is in our mouth. And it's the sense of... Yes! Taste! In this way, the five senses send messages to the brain through the nerves. So the nerves, along with the brain and the spinal cord, 
make up what we know as the nervous system. Therefore, the nervous system is made up of the nerves, the spinal cord, and the brain. The cells in the nerves that generate and conduct impulses are called neurons. All neurons, however, relate information to each other through a complex electrochemical process, making connections that affect the way we think, learn, move, and behave. This network of nerves carries messages back and forth between the brain and the rest of the body through the spinal cord. When the message is received by the brain, it tells the body how to react. In this way, our brain controls voluntary and involuntary actions of the body. A voluntary action is the one that you do consciously, such as hugging, jumping, and smiling. <laughs> And involuntary actions are body reflexes, such as yawning, <sighs> coughing, <coughs> and sneezing. As you can see, our body is amazing. And to protect some organs, such as the heart or the brain, we have the skeleton, made up of more than 200 bones. So, what can you do for your brain? Plenty. Let me give you some ideas. Eat healthy foods. Get a lot of play time. Do sports. Wear a helmet when you ride a bike. Use your brain by doing challenging activities, such as puzzles, reading, playing music, making art or anything else that gives your brain a workout. Did you know this? And now, be happy and be good to your brain! <laughs>